Hello Capricorn, these messages are for November 4th through November 11th, 2023. I'll never DM you, I'll never ask you for money, and I'll never solicit you. This is going to be tarot therapy. What do you need to know about the energy or what's going on around you for the week or some of the energy of the past week and three things that you need to surrender. I'll never DM you guys. Remember that. I don't reach out. You reach out to me. So we got old habits for you, Capricorn. So an old habit might be keeping you from moving forward. So old habits die hard. We all know this, but this could be like a habit that's harmful. This could even be like smoking, drinking, um, something with your diet. It's something that doesn't serve you. It could be keeping connections that are maybe toxic or draining or abusive. It could be maybe staying in a relationship that doesn't serve you. Or it could be like ways that, you know, maybe you know you should try, but you're just, you know, not doing that for whatever reason. But it's more about doing things that promote like a happy, healthy, like lifestyle, maybe like a new way of being, but change is your choice. Um, and I think it's more of you just like changing your thinking, like, how it will benefit you if you change, like if you make a, a change in some way, try to think about how it will benefit you and ask yourself, you know, maybe is it time to let some things go? What, you know, maybe am I holding on to? How would my life be better if I allow myself to let go of whatever it is I'm holding on to? Or you can ask yourself if you can imagine like how your life would be different, lighter, brighter, once this feeling or this issue or whatever it is, is gone from you and it's released and, you know, you just forgive yourself and you feel more free, but there is some type of thing that's holding you back. It could be destructive old ways. It could be the way you think about yourself. It could be letting bad habits consume you. It could be, um, this habit or, or whatever it is, holding you back from your true purpose or from just feeling good about yourself or just feeling good in your own skin. So yeah, it's really like a purging. It's time to let go of everything that doesn't serve you, that doesn't make you happy, that doesn't help you out and trust that, you know, you have the strength to do so um, and choose to only be around people that make you feel good and, you know, only do activities that are life-giving and support your spiritual and emotional growth and health because that's what it's all about you got to let go of this weight i feel like there's a big weight and it's time to just maybe a new way of living even if you change one thing change can be tricky but even if you just change one thing in your routine you can transform it into something really positive and then you might want to make more changes and you know I feel like that's good energy and that's going to attract good energy to you so new exciting you know refreshing energy can come in this is like a clearing it's like a clearing away um of the old and welcoming in the new so what do you need to surrender Surrender to the wisdom of your body. Listen to your body's messages about a person or a situation. If you feel physically drained or uncomfortable, be cautious. If you are energized and happy, move forward. So you might be very empathic or like a bit of an empath and you might feel like other people's energies and they might greatly affect you. So you might be absorbing energies. So it might be good to like ground and center, have crystals, do a shielding thing. Um, if, especially if you have like a stressful job or a lot of people are needy on you, you also have to listen to your body. Like when your body is tired, listen to your body. Like when you have a headache or an ailment that doesn't go away, it might mean, you know, you need to go get it checked or deal with it in some way so you can feel better. Surrender frustration. Frustration does not open any doors. The key to resolving a dilemma or dissolving a block is to take a breath, center yourself, regroup, and you can like reapproach the situation, I feel like, more calmly. So you might need to um, regroup before you speak to a group of people or before you say what you want to say or need to say. It could be a situation that, you know, is super frustrating. Maybe, you know, people are not really listening, but you're meant to take a calm approach. 
and then surrender outdated beliefs about yourself. Yeah, let go of all the old ways you see yourself and the old limiting ideas about yourself that originate from the past, and then you can own your power and soar. Check back next week, Capricorn. Love and light.